Welcome to Erev Shabbos Kodesh, Parshios Vayakel Pekude, and the Parsha Ponderable for this week. The Torah tells us in Parshas Vayakel, Vayitzav Moshe Vayaviru Kol Bamachane, Lemor Ish Viisha Al Yaasu Od Milacha, Litrumas HaKodesh, Vayikale Ha'am Mehavi. Moshe commanded and they announced in the camp, that no one should do any more malacha for the donation to the Mishkan, and the people desisted from bringing. The Mishnah Brewer records that from this Pasuk, Chazal derived the prohibition of carrying, of transporting something from one domain, one rishus to another. Our Parsha Ponderable this week concerns Ruvain's son's bris, which was to take place on a Shabbos. A few days before that Shabbos, the city was blanketed by a terrible snowstorm that knocked down the Eruv and it was impossible to get the Eruv up in time for Shabbos. The snow made traveling so difficult that the Mohel who was to do the bris arrived in Ruvain city just a few moments before candle lighting and was able to reach the home where he would stay for Shabbos, but he didn't make it to Ruvain's home before Shabbos. The next day, the Mohel found a non-Jew who was able to carry his instruments for the Mila from the house where he was staying to Ruvain's house where the bris was going to take place. As he prepared for the bris, he discovered that the knife was missing from the satchel in which all of his instruments were normally found. Searching frantically, he discovered that the knife was lying just outside the front door to the house. Somehow it must have fallen out of the satchel as the non-Jew brought it into the house. But the non-Jew had left already, and therefore there was no one who could pick up that knife and bring it into the house without violating the malacha of carrying. Suddenly, Ruvain had an idea. His children played with magnets, and they had in the basement a very strong magnet. Ruvain wondered if he took the magnet and put it just inside the doorway, that perhaps it would be strong enough to attract the knife and to pull the knife into the house. That way the brisk could take place bizman at its correct time. Ruvain wondered whether or not it would be permissible to bring the knife into the house this way using the magnet. Was that considered carrying on Shabbos or not? Imir Tzashem, the answer next week. Shabbat Shalom.